It has always been known as one of friendly cities. People will talk to you and they won't, you know. So, yeah, I, do, I think it's changing. I mean, we've, you know, thinking about even something that's as everyday as a super tram, you know, and in just being able to connect to all these different kinds of places. I just think as a city, it does really, really well. You know, part of the reason that Sheffield survives so well is because of the university, actually, because it brings a lot of different kind of people in. A lot of students who come here to study do stay. Are they almost creating their own, maybe? I suppose if you're coming out of university and you've got a degree, you know, you're looking for a certain kind of role, aren't you? Whereas probably our own local children who maybe don't always have the opportunity to do a degree. I think it's roles for, for that generation that I really, really feel sorry for. A lot of people still fall between cracks, but I suppose that's life anyway. These could well be new photos, but they look really, really traditional. They make me smile because, again, they're, they're almost bygone, but they're still probably today, so... <laughs> I love that one. They were just great, them sort of stalls, because you could get everything for about three quid and you'd go out, you know, clutch bag underneath arm and topple off. <laughs> aped his pink lipsticks and blue eyeshadow. I remember when people first started uh, videoing in the weddings. I do quite a lot of walking, and that's the same view, but in opposition. Mine's on the other side of hill. They're really nice, really good photos. 